all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Starfield, and we are working on the Freestar Collective uh, mission line, and we are to the point of we have to uh, confront Ron Hope and just see what is up. Uh, it looks like We've got the evidence. We uh, the last episode we uh, took on uh, Paxton Hull and got evidence from him that that uh, Hope has hired the first to seize farmland. So now we've got to talk to Ron Hope and see what uh, this is all going to uh, come down to. So let's get inside and go see Ron Hope. And let's see what happens here. Hey. Hello. I don't want to hear any complaints. Okay. Uh, looks like we just kind of head right on in. way oh that's the bathroom I guess it's not this way all right so over here maybe open yeah looks like it's out this way open and just gonna barge right on in right I mean unannounced okay uh, give me just a second here we jump up yeah all right and as usual, I forgot to start my timer. Okay, That's here we go. Very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Burkett. And we set some ambitious quotas. And you met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Well, let's Keep go talk. Your valuables. You can't protect your own. You don't belong here. All right. Let's talk. Something more you need, deputy? Good to see you again. Sure. Well, I've just received a report from the marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news. Oh, I learned something very interesting. Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ah, uh, Paxton Hall told me you hired him to clear out those farms. Or actually, I'm afraid Paxton Hall has implicated you in a conspiracy against the Free Star oh, Collective. The, the same Paxton Hall who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I've... I've never met the man, and, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. Well, I have evidence that you hired the first to seize farms. Or Hull kept your instructions to use as evidence against you. He knew we'd find, find him. I see. <laughs> I'm impressed, deputy. It's clear you have a uh, bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. Hmm. So, let's see. Tell me everything. I'm sure you had a good reason for doing this. Of course. Of course. 
Allow me to explain, and you'll see that I certainly did. The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh, and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. Go on. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. You used first to seize the farmland and keep the operation a secret. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Ah, uh, the operation ends now. Let's see. And the people you hired, muscle killed. What about them? Let's see. What do we want to do here? Now that's not enough. People, your hired muscle, your hired muscle killed. What about them? You're right. Of course, uh, something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. <laughs> we'll do this the right way. I give you my word. Ah. Oh. The operation ends now. Like I said, I give you my word. Besides, the work was just about done. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. I, uh, underst- oh boy. I understand. Let's see. It's too bad Hull died before you could tell me. Ah, you're going to turn yourself in and I'll be telling the marshal everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? I don't want anyone to suffer. Uh, don't try to put this on me, Hope. Let's see. Oh, boy. This is tough. This is tough. We bring Hope to justice, then everything falls apart here, and all those people and families suffer. Uh, I don't want anyone to suffer. I want justice. Justice can be complicated, deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice 
is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? Ah. Uh. Bribes and threats aren't going to work on me. If you refuse to come quietly, I'll have to use force. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, for your employee's sake, I'll keep your secret. Ah. Uh, this is tough. This is a tough one. I don't know what the best way to go here. We've got to stand by justice for the Freestar Rangers. And... But we've got all of those employees to uh, take care of. Ah. Uh, take your time. I am, Mr. Hope. I am taking my time. Let's keep the employees. Ah. Uh, let's keep the secret. But your scheme ends now. Absolutely. Consider it over. It's ancient history. You've already taken care of the first, and I won't be hiring anyone to take their place. From now on, I'll dedicate myself to looking after the hard-working people of Hope Tech. As for you, you're a hero, Deputy. Great. You've saved this company and ensured a bright future for our employees and their families. All right, you better keep your word, Hope. You can count on me, Deputy. You'll find that my words as reliable as every ship that leaves this factory. Now, I'm sure the Marshal is waiting for an update on your progress. I won't keep you any longer. Farewell, Deputy. You've done good work today. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And since we're agreed that discretion is in order, I'll take that slate from you now. All right. Talk to Marshal Blake. Ah, uh, that was, uh... That was a tough choice. All we right. Dust, except for the factory. So let's go talk to the Marshal, and let's see what this uh, all comes down to. All of these people, all of these security, I think they would have all fallen. The whole place would have gone down the tubes. So I think we made the right choice. We could have taken the $20,000 on the bribe, but we didn't. We didn't take the bribe. We at least, I think, came to an understanding. Off-worlders. Nothing ever good comes from them. Where's the door here? Oh, right here. Okay. Well, just keep it holstered. We'll all get all yeah, time. okay. All right, so we've got that. All right. Like to play hard here. I will uh, see you all in Aquila City. Okay, we are back here at the Rock, and we're going to go up and talk to the Marshal. And let's see if we can kind of close this thing out a little bit here. Hey, oh. Deputy. There. Oh, the Marshal's what? right here. Marshal. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? It was their hideout, but I took care of them. Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Ah... Uh... 
Well, either or, uh, they converted their tracks well. I didn't learn anything useful. Well, I'm sure you did your best. Still, it's hard to escape the feeling you cured the symptom, but not the disease. Yeah, the first won't be a problem anymore. That's that's what matters. Uh... They were mercenaries, and that means someone hired them. Yep. Now they can just hire someone else and pick up where they left off. The whole thing just feels unresolved. Yeah. A temporary victory. At I least. know. Uh, then we'll stay vigilant. If survivors of the first show up, I'll deal with them. Couldn't ask any more of you than that. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care okay. of. Okay. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. Oh. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? It would be an honor, of course. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Ah! Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage. Fearless tenacity and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Oh, all Wear right. It with pride. I will. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Of course. I'll strive to be worthy of the title. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Hey, hey. Okay. I hear you've been real All right. Ooh, mission rewards, okay. As a full-fledged Freestar Ranger, uh you have been granted your very own Star Eagle class starship with no registration fee required. Oh. Okay. Cool. So we've got uh, space helmets. We've got 150 XP on that. Uh, space helmets. Ranger dual wear. Ranger 50 caliber caseless. Jennifer added. Good for you. And so. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Sorry, Emma. Welcome All right. to the rock, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Well, hey there. Oh, Helga, okay. All right, so let's check our missions activities. So we're down to... I guess that completes the Freestar Ranger, so we're... I guess the next thing we're going to have to do is actually start the main mission line. So we will do that in the next episode. So let's uh, just head on outside here uh, and let's uh, see what our ship is. I don't know what our new ship would be like, but we do have a new ship. And so let's go take a look at it. Since this was a, a little shorter day nice than I expected. Uh... All right, no registration lot, right? fee required. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I think I got to do it over at a kiosk just to have a look. Where is that kiosk at? Uh, that's Trade Authority. Uh, was it over here? I've never used this over here. Well, I know that there's got to be a ship's kiosk around here someplace. 
got ship technicians. And... Over here? Huh. I was pretty sure there was one here someplace. Maybe it's just inside the door here? We'll see if we can talk to a ship's technician. Word to the wise, avoid the stretch, especially Aggies. Watch it, ships coming and going all the time. I want to talk. Come on. I guess, I guess he's not going to help me with anything. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll see you over at New Atlantis. Because I do know that the ship's technician and everything's right there. So we should be able to fly over there and look at our uh, new ship. So I'll see you over at New Atlantis. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... We are here at uh, New Atlantis, and here's our ship technician. So let's Is see what we've done? got here. Uh, let's. Uh, I'd like to view and modify my ships. Sure. How about it? Okay. So uh, we've got the frontier, and uh, I can't remember. I picked this ship up. Oh, this is the Star Eagle. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. So, uh, the Star Eagle is all registered fuel, hull, cargo capacity 2280. Holy smokes. Uh, it's got the laser and missiles. I think I'd like to change that to... Well, that's okay. I can just stay there. Oh, and it's got, uh, I think it's EM. I might want to change these around a little bit. And the engine, it's a class A. Shields, it's a pretty good looking ship. I might change over on this. I might want to... I don't know. I guess an EM uh, would uh, disable the other ships, but I don't know. I'm so used to fighting with the free, uh, with the frontier. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is at at this point uh, stick with the frontier. And then uh, uh, I'm going to have to do some playing around. Frontier's been a pretty good ship for me. I've been able to hold off some pretty uh, tough characters with it. So it's kind of hard to uh, give that thing up. But I do like the much larger cargo capacity in the uh, other ship. So uh, I might uh, see if I can't figure out some modifications for it. Uh, get the uh, ballistics uh, maybe uh, back in a little bit and just kind of see what the best way would be with that. So anyway, well, we finished up the Freestar Collective uh, mission line. So really the main mission line left is, well, the Crimson Fleet. And I'm probably not going to do that one. Uh, just not a pirate. I have a hard time with that. As you can see, I had a hell of a hard time just deciding on uh, what to do with Ron Hope. Uh, uh, tried to leave it for the good of the people in the end. And so we will start on the uh, Constellation, the main, the actual main storyline here of uh, Starfield. So uh, I will uh, see you all then. Okay, all you Starfighters out there. 
if you like this uh, episode, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the uh, uh, video. And uh, please subscribe. It will really <coughs> help out the channel. Ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uploading new videos, and I'm doing that on a regular basis. Okay, Starfighters, keep your heads low. Uh, keep uh, fighting away out there and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.